Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of This Mother Podcast. My name is Perry. I'm the host of this show. With me, as he always is, my co-host, Eric the Whiskey Mutant. I love the way you laugh. Under I my love umbrella. the way you laugh. But I'm not a rude boy. I'm here to work, work, work. Man, you had that ready to go. You know, shine bright like a diamond. You had that locked and loaded. Bitch, you better have my money. <laughs> I was gonna let you finish. Don't stop but the music. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness gracious! Hi everybody. Hi Eric. What's up? How are you doing? I'm good now that I'm here. Yeah, man, it's been a long week. I uh, hope you had a good big game. Yep. Day because we yep. can't say the other one. Get canceled. Uh, fined. Oh. Canceled. Who cares? I just I don't want to deal with it. Um, bowling, oh, bowling for super. Yes. Hope you had a great Valentine's Day as well. Oh yeah, I hope you if got you, a kiss. If you celebrate such hope a holiday. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh and I hope that you are enjoying being here. That's a weird way to phrase that, but we're just going to steamroll right on through it. <laughs> Sit on down. See, that sounded weird too. Sit on down. Yeah, I'm Come just... on down. Tim bit, baby. I'm tired, man. <laughs> it's been a long week. Yeah. Long work week. Uh, if you're returning, hope you've been hanging in there like we are. Uh, and if you are here for the first time, thanks for checking out the show. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Leave us a five star rating and review on your podcast app of choice. If you do it on the Apple Podcast app, that's how we typically see things. But send us a little screenshot if uh it's on another app and we don't see it uh you can find uh us on social media at my bourbon pod at whiskey mutant uh eric's typically just on instagram tiktok sometimes but yeah sometimes I when do, you've got I, bangers like your bangers tiktok you're a valentine's tiktok with uh, i don't even know if people, yeah i don't know if people even know what to say about that one like it's it's, it's it was it was somewhere between really funny and a little cringy <laughs> cringy well it's just like is you know you want to encourage uh you know uh, uh, stable marriages that's what you took from it is that why people don't i thought it was just funny i don't know dude i don't know damn you have to reevaluate everything <laughs> I do have a YouTube now. You do have a YouTube now. What is it? It's it's Whiskey Mutant. <laughs> I got to change my name on there. It's it's Eric's uh, toy reviews. <laughs> no, it's Whiskey Mutant. <laughs> I put I, I put my uh, <laughs> I don't put my toys on there. <laughs> I put my my little videos that I do my pairings on there now. <laughs> They're in vertical though, so it looks stupid on. But if you watch it on your phone, it looks the same. So subscribe to my YouTube at we Whiskey go. Mutant. There you go. Uh, you can send us questions or comments to this bourbon shop at gmail.com. Uh, we love hearing from people. Uh, what else? Bourbonshop.threadlist.com mm-hmm. is where you can find all of our apparel and merchandise. You can send us a voicemail at 859-428-8253. That's 859-428-8253. We listen to those voicemails right here on the show. Respond to them because it's a mm-hmm. lot of fun. Uh, and it's your podcast. It, I was just about to say it's the easiest way for you to get on a podcast. You don't even have to. You, you don't have to pay for it. You don't even have to take that test that you have to pass before you're on a podcast. <sighs> it's even worse when you have to start a podcast. That test? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't want to know what that test you, is like. I'm still recovering. Yeah, that was very invasive. Yeah. Uh, but you can also support the show on patreon.com slash by bourbon podcast for as little as a dollar a month for as little as five dollars a month. There's a bunch of bonus content over there. You can hear me rage a little bit this week uh, rage. <laughs> after a particularly frustrating mutant madness yeah. training thanks session. To Tony bag of donuts. Yeah, thanks, Tony. Uh, but I guess that also means I'm going to be on Matt Madness this week. Yeah, uh, you are. Over on YouTube, ADHD Whiskey. Uh, so tune in for that. I'm a little nervous, but at the, this point... Avenge me, daddy. I will... Yeah, Eric didn't win. Yeah, I'll talk about it in a second. Yeah, but he, also... What? I was going to say, but you know what you can do to make me feel better. I was just about to do another segue that wasn't as good as that one. Yeah. What were you going to say? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, if you want to make me feel <laughs> you better... You think I plan this stuff? No. 
<laughs> you want to make me feel better? Go buy some tickets to the live show. There you go. Go buy some VIP weekend things. Yeah. If you're listening to this and you're not on the Patreon, now's your chance to do it because we are opening it up to the public. It's true. We got some VIP passes left. We got plenty of live show tickets. Pairing with Peggy. If you've ever wanted to see me pair with Peggy and Perry be in the middle and probably turn into a referee of some sort. Who knows what's going to happen? I don't think there's any probably about it. Yeah, that's true. I'm I think it's going to gonna happen. It's going to happen. It's going to get wild. I'm sure maybe we'll bring up a guest judge from the the crowd. Something's going to happen. Who knows? We're going to have drinks for everybody. Everybody gets a free drink with their ticket. Then you got a full bar to go back to. Probably have some extras for you. We got food for you. Going to have some uh, pre-show stuff going on. Hanging out a little bit afterwards. Get in on that. We're going to put the link up on um, Facebook. It's going to be everywhere. Everywhere. So, Lexington, Kentucky, Memorial Day weekend, the weekend before Memorial Day, the Clarion, just where we had it last year. Yeah. We're going to have fun. Get the tickets. Don't miss out on this and make me happy. There you go. Make Perry happy. Make him work. Because he had to set the whole the whole thing up while I was doing other stuff. Um Part of the weekend, but he did have to set all the recording stuff up. That's true, and I'll have to do it all again this year. So I'll be doing stuff too that contributes. That's true. That's true. Um, and I got to figure out what sh- I'm going to buy. Some I'm going to get some new shoes for the show. I'm going to have a whole new drip for the live show. I'm planning it right now. I'm planning my drip from now until the time. I'm gonna go. <sighs> I think I'm gonna I go. F- see you. I'm okay. gonna go full War of 1812. <sighs> Just kidding. I'm Damn. Kidding. <laughs> I was gonna say I want to see you like late 80s style. I want to see you in some bright colors, maybe like white pants, almost like you're close to being on like Miami Vice or something like that. Okay, kind of a Miami Perry. An '80s Miami Perry. My hair's gonna be longer by that I point see too. That. So you dye it blonde. No, <laughs> I'll dye mine blonde if you dye no, yours. No, we are not dyeing our hair, <laughs> dude. That would be amazing. <laughs> we show up and our hair is blonde. <laughs> Just bleach blonde. I I, I fully believe that if my I hair were will to be do even that, grown out more then, like I I still won't have as much hair as Perry, but it will be a little <laughs> thicker. I'd say I could probably do it by then. Here's the thing: I want to keep just. Growing my hair out for a while. This sells out in the next month. I'll, I'll die. Okay, I'll, fine. I'll be there. You do blonde. it. You would do whatever you want to, man. <laughs> I'll do it. If this sells out from now, when this hits, and it sells out by, what would what would one month be? March seventeenth. Seventeenth. Well, that's when. That's today's date. March twenty second. March twenty second. If we are sold out. Live show, I'm blonde. I'm blonde hair. And you're Miami Vice, Perry. Okay. And I got a whole new drip that goes with my blonde hair. It's it's Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> oh, damn. I don't let people look at me and stuff, and I make them very uncomfortable, fire the people that are helping us and stuff. Oh, man. Anyway, yeah, live show, get on it. Yeah, go check all that stuff out. The Eventbrite link is in the description. You can find it on all social media channels if you are not... Doing it on your phone or your computer or your iPod or whatever. I don't know. I mean, I guess you could send us a little uh, mail. Mail it in. We'll we'll take the money. Yeah, sure. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, what are we starting the week out with, Eric? Sips of snacks or flying, flying blind? blind? Flying blind. Blind, gotta, blind me up. I got you a little blind. Um, this is something that's been sitting on the floor because next week on Patreon we bring back pours from the floor. Look at you being all good and uh, a little promoting a little preview of what you may get on pours from the floor. This is a bottle that. It's kind of taking up space. It's almost empty. It needs to be done. So on pours from the floor, I bring a bottle or two over. Me and Perry finish it, and we talk about it. And it's completely opposite of what we're going to be talking about in the show because I figured we needed a good break before that because we're going to be going full Kanata and rye. Which is why we're doing tequila. Tequila! (laughs) (laughs) And you know what? Break dance. Next week, 
Perry is going light. He's going to take it easy before Matt Madness. I'll talk about my Matt Madness in a little bit. But so we're going to give him one more chance to uh, train here. Mm, okay. A quick little Matt Madness style flying blind. I figure at this point I just kind of know what I know. It's the same thing I say every year. Like there's only so much more training it's I true. can do. It's true. I want to drink along with you. Cool. We want to finish this off just like we do in Portland on the floor. Feel free. Just nose it, taste it, do whatever. I'll ask you a few questions about it. Pretty light. Doesn't smell light. <laughs> smells kind of dark, right? Smells hefty, hefty, hefty. I will say, I've had this for quite a while. Just like most of the pours from the floor. They've been needing to be finished for a while. Deceptive. Oh, how do you think this is? Nine years old. Okay. Uh, you think this is a bourbon or a rye? This is a rye bourbon. Rye bourbon. Okay. Um, do you think this is finished? No. Um, where do you think this was distilled? Kentucky. Okay. Um, would you pour this over a, um dark snack like chocolate caramel peanut butter or a light snack like vanilla um you know cinnamon stuff like that light snack okay and what proof do you think this is one oh seven one oh seven okay you know what it is sorry you were in the zone you told that for a second that was all just stream of conscious. Do you even were you just rattling stuff off like off the top of your head? You don't even know what you're drinking. You're just going with it. Yeah, I, I just I was feeling it. I was feeling, feeling it, man. It. I was feeling it. Okay. Yeah, I just I transcended. Yeah, you levitated a little bit. <laughs> Did I? Yeah. Oh wow. Where you came off there? Cool. Yeah. Hey, first for everything. Um, this is a peerless pick. Nice. Peerless. So it's not bourbon. nine years old. It's not nine years old, but it is a bourbon. It is a rye bourbon. Rye bourbon. What proof did you say it was? 107. It's 110. There you go. It is uh, four years old. Um, it is not finished. Um, this was picked by Liquor Barn. It's four years, one month. Barrel date, July 8th, 2015. Dang. Yeah, I got this. And the barrel name was... You got that in 2019? Yeah. Yeah. Holy dooly, dude. Yeah. Uh, dessert Factor. That's what it's called. That's why. And I would put this on a light snack. I would put this over like a uh, vanilla, like Sunday with like nuts and stuff like that. Hey. Oh, tons of vanilla. I pretty much nailed that. Yeah. Aside from the age. But again, I did say it was deceptive. Yeah. And it's Kentucky. <sighs> Look at you, boy. I know what's up, man. You're ready. I know what's up. I love. I just get in my head. I love this bottle. I'm bad at taking tests. I've kept this for so long because I like it. Pour, it's dude. so desserty. Yeah. Um. I just wish. I don't. Do they even do peerless picks anymore? I feel like the single barrels are all at the distillery now. I have no idea, honestly. They're just so expensive. Yeah, they are. They're way too expensive. I don't for remember. How old they are. I was must have been. I must have worked some overtime, and I was feeling froggy on when I bought this one. It's untelling. Oh, I know why. So before we bought our current house and we were building, we had to rent an apartment. Mm. So I had three kids and I freaking. Oh apartment. my gosh. But rent was, How many bedrooms? Uh it was only uh it was three bedroom apartment. Oh. So both boys were in a room. We oh. had our room, Addison had a room, and we had one living room. But we had already put the money down for the house and everything, and rent was way cheaper than a mortgage. So I believe it. So I, I had some extra bourbon money going on. <laughs> <over> there, <so. laughs> 
There you go. <laughs> you start going through my collection. There's so many like 2019s. Yeah. You're like, well, how did you get all this? And then there's there's a noticeable dip in 2020. <laughs> yep. And then, <laughs> then I kind of come back a little bit in 2021. But it never, it never reached stuff. that height of 2019. No, no, That's really nothing, funny to me. Nothing, in, nothing like 2019. That was my, not my bourbon boom. <laughs> 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 the bubble has burst on Eric's mm. bourbon boom. <laughs> now it's whatever I can get when I can, you know, randomly can get it. <laughs> Tried enough stuff. I know exactly what I can afford and do. Like, yeah, there's you all the varieties from 2019. I like the thought of talking about a personal bourbon boom. Yeah, that had to be in it. Like, that's that's something we should explore in a f- at a future episode. Like, yeah, that when when did the bubble burst for you? That you know would what I mean? be that would be fun to have somebody just somebody else on with us. Like, doesn't have to be like a podcaster or anybody. Just somebody that's got a big bourbon collection and being like, when was what was your boom? Yeah, there? but I kind of want Kenny and Ryan to be a part of that conversation. Okay, well, we'll have I don't Kenny know why. I don't know why. Let's it just something on. about that conversation feels like it needs to be let's had with Bourbon Pursuit. Well, let's do it. Let's go record it at their place and we'll record okay. Bourbon Quickie, Whiskey Quickie with them. Okay. Then we'll do a. Our, Kenny already suggested a pairing. I do. Then we'll record whiskey mutant pairs. Whatever you awesome. ask them to. We'll just record all day long with them. I think that sounds great. You do. The, you you're the connection maker. I yeah. just make the no. I'll, I will message Kenny after we get done recording. All right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. There you go. All right. Stay tuned to see if this actually happens. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love the energy today. It's very chaotic. Yeah. <laughs> Chaos. <laughs> what have you been drinking recently, dude? Well, tell us tell us about your exploits and adventures. All right. Let's see. So, as of recording, I haven't had anything to drink for 4 days, 4 nights. But before that, let's talk about it. He was in the desert that whole time. <laughs> yes. The horse with no name? Is that right? That's the song, yeah. But I uh, uh-huh. It was a play on 40 Days and 40 Nights. Oh. That's how long... Oh, Moses. Jesus? Moses. Was Noah. Moses? Not Noah. Oh, yeah. Noah. Noah. Noah was on the boat for... Noah's on the like, boat. a long time. Moses. Part of the waters, right? Moses, yes. But was he in the desert for 40 years? His bush was he burning. Was in, yes. Moses was in the desert for 40 years. Years? Yes. Damn. With um, uh, with the... Gandalf. Jews. Yes, with Gandalf the the gray. Yeah, it was pre Balrog. Yeah, and he followed the the eyeball that was on fire, and it led him to the trolls, the internet trolls. And he paid the toll, <laughs> and he got in the boys' hole, and that's the Bible. Um. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah. Last Friday, I competed in Matt Madness. Yes. And I lost. Um, I don't like to make excuses on like public, you know, I lost whatever, but I, I guess I got to make a confession. Right before <laughs> what? <laughs> Just knowing this story and knowing the person that you're about to talk about. Well, there's it's two parts. The most, to it. It's the most them thing. Yeah. So. Right before it started, I heard the I heard this like really sad, scary noise in like behind my house. I'm setting everything up. And I'm like, "What was that?" I have to go check it out. I gotta make sure. You're my, a nurse. You took the oath. I did. Also, I'm a father. I'm a husband. I gotta protect the family. You know, I don't know what's going on. I go out, and there is a garage on fire. Yeah. Oh my gosh. But nobody, it's just a garage. It's not like a house. Connected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a garage. Detached? Detached garage. Okay. Box full of kittens. <gasps> That's the one I heard. I heard that. I, what am I supposed to do? I got to save these kittens. I run into the garage, you know, soot and like smoke is getting in my nose. I'm like, this is going to mess. This is going to mess up Matt Madness. But, you know, I have to save these kittens. I get clawed by a kitten because they're like, you're not my mom or my owner. One of the little kittens is on fire. <laughs> so, you know what burning like hair smells like? Horrible. That's all I smell. Burning hair. I save these kittens. I have to call the animal shelter. I wait on them. I'm in the cold. 
I still smell the burning kittens in my nose. I'm like, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Um, I save kittens. I save kittens out of a burning building. Um, and there was also a blind kid that almost got hit by a car. Saved him too. He smelled really bad. So nothing. I can't smell anything but smelly underwear from a blind kid and kittens. But everybody's safe. Blind kid's safe. He's home. Kittens are at the uh, kitten orphanage now. Even the, even the kitten that was on fire? It was just his tail. I whipped it off. You didn't say that. You just said it no. was on fire. It was just his tail. He was technically on fire. But listen, I saved everybody. <laughs> I mean, there's 10 minutes to go before Matt Madness starts. I'm done. <laughs> I can't smell anything. I just smell. And I get a call. Matt Greasy. I have Matt Greasy in my phone. Mm-hmm. I was like, what is Matt Greasy calling? Oh, well, Matt's making a special appearance before like our round he's like are you ready and i was like man i just saved a bunch of kittens in an orphan he was like that doesn't matter Dad wait so the it. kid the blind kid was also an orphan yeah oh. <laughs> yeah um he's like that don't matter i was like okay well you got any advice since you are a former winner he's like he gave me this advice and i'm not going to say it on air because i don't want it to mess you up because you know what it fucking messed me up took his advice lost I don't blame the kittens that were on fire or the orphan that smelled bad. I blame Grease for the reason I lost. (laughs) And like I said, I don't normally like to make excuses. I didn't say anything on Matt Madness, ADHD Whiskey Matt Madness. I didn't say anything about that. I took my loss. I had a great time. It was fun. I got to know (laughs) everybody I was competing with, uh, Tipsy Whiskey, the Whiskey Dick, I couldn't believe I was competing against like the oldest person on whiskey tube. I think he was on whiskey tube before I could even drink. Who? Whiskey Dick? Oh yeah. He's like a thousand years old. Um, and then uh Whiskey Mountains. I didn't realize that she was like Adriana, yeah. She was like she's like in like oxygen tanks and chambers. Dude, she she is a monster she won, of a whiskey taster. She won, and you know what? I'm not I'm not mad about getting beat by by her. Um, but I had a great time. I had a great time. Whiskey Central was there hanging out. Um, Shayla's awesome. Shayla's, Shayla's one awesome. of my favorites. Got to talk with Matt after the show went off. You all, we stayed on. We stayed on there and drank and talked for like thirty minutes afterwards. It was amazing. But I lost. I don't get to do this again. And it's all Grease's fault. It's not the burning kittens. It's not the stinky orphan. Nobody would ever blame the burning kittens or the stinky orphan, my friend. Grease would. You know he would. He probably would. I love him. He's like a big brother that hates me. And he sabotaged it. And that's what happens. I never had a big brother. Um, Me neither. And so I don't know what it's like to get I think picked. that explains a lot about us. <laughs> I don't know what it's like to get picked on by the older brother, but I figured it out now. Yeah. That's what happened. Well, we are going to be releasing to uh, the top Patreon tier <coughs> the exclusive uh, security cam footage of you saving both the kittens and yeah, the... Yeah, it's on my back porch cam. Yeah. yeah. So... It may be a little grainy. Probably. I mean, when there's fire involved, it messes with the camera. There's smoke and stuff. You ever heard of smoke and mirrors? Yeah. That's what happened. Yeah, okay. But I checked on them just the other day. Everybody's doing fine. Three of those kittens have got adopted. The one that had a burning tail has not. It's kind of scary. And Orphan Child is fine. He's you know, going to be Batman one day. I hope that the blind, smelly orphan boy, who's going to be Batman, uh, also adopts one of the orphan cats. That would be amazing. Yeah. And then my kids leave, they grow up, they leave, and I end up adopting him. There you go. Back. Yeah. Um, but you know what else I've been drinking? Well, I, I got to say, I hope that you've saved at least a little bit of your storytelling power because we do have a new patron to talk about at the end of the oh, episode. I know. I know. <laughs> there was no, there's no burning cats involved with that one. I know exactly. I mean, that was a whole nother day. There was a burning pig, though. Yes. Yeah. Um, but after, anyway, after, after I drug myself out of the dumps from losing, I had a great time with my wife 
for Valentine's because we had to celebrate early because I had to work on Valentine's. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, I didn't really have anything. I had some old fashions then. But then on Sunday, big game Sunday, caught myself. The Sunday of the superb owl. I just came up with that. The superb owl. <laughs> that has to be used now. You better copyright that. Let me call my lawyer. Do it. Um, but it's a dumb bit. <laughs> the last things I've drank were with you. So you go ahead That's and start true. going into it. Yeah. So we were the referees for this year's bourbon bowl over on its bourbon night. Sorry, my mic is in a weird spot. Um, we got to taste through most of the rounds. Mm. There were five rounds and four of them were tiebreakers between Chad and Sarah. Uh, and so you... Todd Cooper and I yeah. got to have a really good time drinking through some really great oh whiskey. Oh my gosh. Like that it like even afterwards, like it's like some of the top pours I've had in the past yeah. while. There was a William Heaven Hill uh fifteen year old oh. one oh nine proof, which I guess is the new well, William Heaven Hill. Yeah, it's a green green. Yeah. Label. Um I'd not seen or heard anything about it up until Sunday. Uh, there was a dusty bottle of bond beam that Ooh, we had that was king of Kentucky. incredible. The king of Kentucky was beautiful. Oh, we tried their uh, their uh, wilderness trail wheat blend that they did. Okay, so and we were also tasked with putting up the the matches of, of deciding what bottles were going to go head to head. Yeah, if you've never watched it's bourbon knots bourbon bowl, basically, first of all, go and do it. Yeah, do it. They draft a list of bottles. Sarah has her bottles. It's a snake draft. Chad has his bottles. And then they let referees come in and decide who go what bottles go up against each other. They yep. may want you to do a theme. They may let you go rogue. Um, we went a little rogue this time. Yeah, we did. Um, but they've done this for several years. And I was a referee when Perry couldn't do it one year. Todd's been a referee. When I couldn't do it one when, year. And then Perry's been the referee the first couple of years. Yeah. And so now they had all three. So it was there was no cheating. There was no way anybody could say it was rigged. I was able to do the first two years. The third year, I was working for Papa John's on their social media team. And I had to work on... Sunday, so I wasn't oh, able to yeah. make it. He was probably busy. That. Oh, it was it was a hectic, hectic day. Yeah. Uh, last year was the fourth uh, Bourbon Bowl. Did I just say? You just did just now. Crap! I gotta bleep it. Bleep it. Dang it. Bleep it. Uh, the fourth Bourbon Bowl. I had COVID. That's when I stepped in. <laughs> that's when Eric stepped in. Uh, and this year they decided they, to bring, bring all on. three of us. I think that's the best thing. I'm on. I, I'm on contract for at least three more years. Yeah. I think that was because I I feel like we had our own show going we with did. the three of us. It was the referee show. <laughs> you had two shows in one. And special Todd. Special Todd. My favorite. Um, but yeah. Um, Can you tell we haven't had a whole lot of human interaction over the no, past few days? No. Mostly with uh, adults. <laughs> yeah. So we got to try all that stuff when they would yeah. get a tie. We would be the tiebreaker. But then. Uh-huh. But then uh -huh. we got done uh -huh. and Todd's like, I got something really special I want to share with you guys. And I'm like, like, well, I guess we're going into overtime because I was supposed to be home about 15 minutes before that. And I said, you know what? You didn't get home until after five o'clock. Yeah, I was supposed to be home at 430. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was all good, though. It was all good. <laughs> it's still here. So I, I, I never know. What to expect when Todd says, I got something special. I Todd want to share Cooper with you. is a magical creature that you may not know because he's not, he doesn't like, he, he has a social media, but he doesn't really do a lot. He's, he's like this secret little entity that only a few people really know. Yeah. And yeah. if you know, Perry, I'm sorry, but you know, I know. Just say it. I know. If you know, you know. See, he said it. In this case, it's okay to say it. Perry hates that saying. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> anyway. So Todd pulled out. Not that. It... <laughs> so in the middle, it Todd felt, pulled it felt, out. It felt like he, he pulled it out and just flopped it on the table. Todd still doesn't have kids. Um, <laughs> sometimes it works. Um, <laughs> not all the time. Not always. Um, Uh-oh. 
What is that? I'm guessing it's a video of my daughter, but... I thought that was Lucy saying, y'all better be quiet. <laughs> That's a lot of Snapchats oh, in a row. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Todd pulled out mm-hmm. a 1982 uh, Booker's. Uh, the third year of Booker's releases. So uh, Booker Noah himself was still alive. It was distilled and uh, crafted and bottled when when Booker was the master distiller. Um, Booker was still writing books still. That was one of the best bourbons I've ever had in my entire life. I mean, top five. Right I mean, now. like, hands down. You know, like there, there is that expectation with dusty pours that once you you get to them, they're going to wind up being musty and they're going to have that funk mm. to them and everything. This was so clean. Yep, it was the one of the cleanest dusties I have ever had. It was like you just got a brand new Booker's. But you were like, holy shit, this is what I want everything to taste like. It's what like. I want every Booker's to taste like. It's what every Booker's should taste mm-hmm. like, yes. I feel like. what One of the things that, and and I don't know if there's actual truth behind this, but the thing that you know gets kind of shared about Booker No right prior to his death, uh, he, he took Fred aside his son, Fred, no, uh, and said, don't let them mess with my bookers. And they mess with it. And they've messed with it. I I mean, like, I I will straight up just say, I don't think that the past few years have lived up to the legacy that Booker, no, if that's the, gave us, if that's the, like, what is, what is the word I'm trying to say? The bar. Yeah. (sighs) They got a they got a while to go back to get yeah. back to that, and I don't know. Like maybe there's something to do with the stock that they've had to work with. I maybe mean, yeah. it's a you know you know that was everybody's like palate's different. Yeah, it was 1982, yeah. of course. Wasn't even born. <laughs> Me neither. Um, but that was before my dad even graduated high school. Yeah, <laughs> my dad. I don't really know. Why yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but. It, there there should be I, I just don't understand why they are not being held to the same standards. Oh, man, it's so good. That were uh, that that Booker had at that time. Yeah. And it just doesn't make sense to me. I don't know. So I'm just happy I got to try that. I am so happy. I'm happy that I got a little sample of it too. Oh. I, <sighs> Who do you think I'm gonna share that sample with? Hopefully me. It's gonna be with you, boy. Oh you yeah. can't wait to get that again. <laughs> <laughs> um so that I think was the most not- notable excuse me thing that we we kind of had this mm-hmm. week. Um again kind of a little bit of a boring week for me. Uh I haven't really bought anything new. I I will say though I I did buy a six pack of beer just out of curiosity and one of my favorite breweries is uh, Rogue Dead Guy. Well, excuse me, Dead Guy, and they make the Rogue. I've seen beer. Rogue on there. Yeah, um, and I am a big fan of hazy IPAs, New England IPAs. What what makes it hazy? They, I don't know the specifics behind it. I don't know how it really works. But there is some process, and I apologize. I know that there's uh, well, I mean, there, I, there I are more informed beer it. drinkers out there, but <clears throat> they incorporate like fruit, like fruit juice, mm-hmm. and I guess I think there's even like lactose okay. in it, so it's a little bit thicker yeah. um, as well. But it just, and I like IPAs. I like I like bitter beer. Yeah. I just I, like I'll just straight up say it, but New England IPAs, hazy IPAs, are that perfect balance between this feels refreshing, but it doesn't feel boring, right? You know, mm-hmm. like s- s- most refreshing beer, in my opinion, can be boring, right. and it's because it's lighter. It's mm-hmm. not got as much 
it's calories or carbs it's or something anything that you want to you can eat with like that's that's me yeah. i like to have a light beer when i have wings <clears throat> or i have a burger or something when i'm out at a restaurant because it's not got a lot of flavor but i'm still having a beer yeah exactly but I, it's i i don't want to drink a big thick you know, hoppy beer while I'm eating too, because it just there's it's so heavy. Yeah. So this one in particular, uh, the 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 bottle name or can name is Bat Squatch. Bat Squatch. Yeah, like like Sasquatch, but but, but bat. bat. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll send you home with a bottle or a can. Okay. Too, if you want, you could have it tonight when yeah. you're in. Uh, yeah, I'll be traveling tonight. Yeah. Get to a hotel. Be sitting by myself. Well, it's yeah. it is not. It actually kind of goes a little bit more into smoothie territory. Ooh, because it's it's fr- it's more heavily fruity and tropical Ooh. than it is bitter. Okay, like because I think the other thing too about hazy IPAs is that they're trying to cover up some of the bitterness with a sweeter acidic flavor right. that comes from you know a, a citrus fruit, yeah. which you know typically it's like orange or grapefruit or something like that. I think this one is grapefruit based might be kind of guava e uh-huh. as well um it's so good though dude it sounds good um i'm I'm excited for you to try it and see what you okay think. i'll take one tonight you know what we do need to try <laughs> what our wild turkey our wild turkey man let's look at this thing holy <laughs> it's so dark my god all right so we're on week two of turkey watch with our uh <laughs> Our French oak that. chips sitting in the holy cow. so noticeably different. Yeah, you can um, see, yeah. So for anybody who doesn't know, we put French oak chips in this bottle of Wild Turkey 101. Uh, it's been sitting like this for two weeks. We tried it last week on the podcast, and then we actually tried it with Todd, Chad, and Sarah on Sunday too. Uh, and it had changed significantly in the two oh, days yeah. since there's we had tried it. There's no way you would know this was Wild Turkey. So this has been whoa since, since I had it last. This has been almost a week now. Yeah, that smells old. It does. Yeah, you're right. It does smell like it's older than eight years old now. Boy, this would throw me off in a blind. What, bro? We need. We may need to take that out right now. You think it's time? <sighs> that nose is amazing. It's like, I want to know what happens with another week, but at the same time, this has to be what master blenders and distillers go through. Put a little bit of it in that, and we'll let it keep going. I, but if it's if it's that good... Well, you got to try it too. I will. But like this is the struggle I would see them going through, because I'm like, oh my God, mm. pull this out right now. That nose. It smells special. It smells like it's limited edition. You know what I mean? What? It's like pancakes and chocolate, and but it's got like a turkey funk to it. Give me that bottle. <laughs> Whoa. That smells. Time to be dumped. 15 years old. Uh, and it it tastes it tastes it it, it tastes like a master's more. keep. Yeah, this tastes like a master's keep. Have they done a double oaked master's keep? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They definitely haven't. What do you mean? I don't know. I know they haven't. Well, have they finished one though? There's a finished one. Is there the the one that's like? Uh, I think you had it. It's like the red box one. Oh, the Oloroso? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm saying this is like double oaked as like, it's just another like turkey barrel or something like that. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you could. But the cut, okay, all right, shoot. What? There's like one tiny oak chip in there. Well. I think it'll be all right. We're going to be like that one brand that has that one spiral in it. (laughs) Oak and Eden. Oak and Eden. You know, you think that I would have tried it by now, considering my daughter's name is Eden, but... Eh. 
It's a little risky. <laughs> yeah, I've not heard great things about it. Um, oh my god, that was quite a good amount of oak chips in there too, and they're they are wet. <laughs> Look at what this. Yeah. That oak is. Know about that? Um. Wow. What? Crazy. I got to make sure I mark this too, or I was else I completely lit. forget. Yeah. It looks lighter now that it's the chips in a now. bottle without the chips. It's still darker. Yeah, it definitely is, but it's also. Oh, I mean, it's, this... it's it's just smelling it out of this bottle like it's such a complete like it doubles the different age. animal. It's sixteen <laughs> years old. This thing that thing can drive. That thing grew well two weeks. It, can drive now here's the thing i want to keep doing this i want to keep trying this experiment out um because i mean i and and the thing is i'm, I'm of two minds about this i've got a bunch of these oak chips part of me wants to go well i want to finish a bourbon that i don't like as much with these but then the other part of my brain is going take something that you really like yeah and do that <clears throat> with it mm. i mean Benchmark, foolproof, uh, yeah, a Knob Creek single barrel, mm -hmm. something. I I would be willing to bet as well that this is no longer one hundred and one proof. Think so? <laughs> I think the proof has changed. I don't know anything about that stuff. I think that the 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 oak chips because they were very dry. I think they probably soaked up a good amount of moisture, good amount of water, Took some water out. And left some of the alcohol in there. I guess. I mean, it definitely could does not, be. Could it, be. I could be wrong. It doesn't I taste could be completely wrong. Proof. Tastes good. Proof. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's really good, dude. That's unbelievable. We need to get, uh, we need to buy like one of those little small wild turkey bottles, like the pints or whatever it is, and put that and seal it to the top. Not let any more air get oh, there. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'll grab one. I actually on. might have one around here somewhere. But, oh, no, I take that back. I think I threw it away. I might grab one next time I come. We'll seal that thing and let I, it sit. You know what I can do in the meantime is like saran wrap it. Yeah. I mean, that something. thing is. Yeah. <laughs> That's um that is bonkers good. Mm -hmm. It really is. No joke. That's a master's keep. It's whatever we haven't done yet. More of more of that in the future, please. I mean, not just with Master's turkey, keep but... chip off my own block. <laughs> Could you imagine doing this with a Russell's pick? Hmm. Well, maybe we should. I hey. I want to I've this got is... some that are about 50% full that we could dump in there. You know you know what we'll do now? This is a new segment. This is going to be an ongoing thing with the podcast. What are we putting French oak chips in this week? What are we chipping? Today? What are we chip? Chip me. Chip me, daddy. Chip off Chip off the old block, I think yeah, is what it is. Chip off the old block. Hmm. What if we did something we don't like? Okay. Let's try that. Scotch, Texas whiskey. Kentucky Tavern. What proof is Kentucky Tavern? 80. 80. This is going to give us a good idea, too, of how the, the oak chips actually the quality, interact. The quality of like the bourbon, too. Like yeah. This. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Got to take the fun stopper out. Fun stopper on Kentucky Tavern. It's not even a, a handle. It's a plastic fit. <laughs> Hold on, Grandma. Don't drink all the... <laughs> Hold on. I thought this was the back label. And that's just the label. That's just the label. I mean, like, this looks like the back label. of something. Yeah. Kentucky Tavern. Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey Bottled by Glenmore Distillery, Louisville, Kentucky. 80 proof. 80 proof. Oh, God. 36 months, I think. I think it's only like three years old. Oh, like mildewed Sharpie. 
Yeah, aged at least 36 months. So. All right, dump them in there. <sighs> this is fun. I like doing this. This I is like a it. good little yeah. unique thing that we've now introduced to the 10 bip canon. Keep going. <laughs> you thought I was going to stop after two? No, keep going. <laughs> Look at how noticeable the color is, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It it like looks gross. It does. <laughs> it it looks like a. It kind of looks like a lager. <laughs> it does. It looks like a beer. It looks like a beer. Uh, you can't really tell too well on the camera. I mean, I guess in that light, it looks just like normal bourbon. Yeah, but in real life, it definitely looks like a weird beer thing. Yeah. All right. Well, here we go. Round two. Chip off your old block. We'll figure it out. It's going to go over there on the uh, side table we leave things on. <laughs> there it is. Anyway. What are we doing? <laughs> Podcasting? Oh, do we want to oh, do... Oh, do... Canada. <laughs> Just steamrolling me. All right, fair enough. We're doing something we haven't really done with the podcast before, and we are uh, going a little, a little more a international. Box. Oh, we're boxing ourselves in. We got a box, a whiskey in a box. Alberta Premium Cast Strength Rye. You've had this for a couple months, right? Uh, I got it last month. I just never had a chance. Okay, to a open month. It. A Sorry. Month. Yeah. Never got a chance to open it yet. It's you know, I wanted to share it with. Oh, look at that Ooh. bottle! Oh my gosh, sixty-six point zero percent alcohol, Canadian rye whiskey, one thirty-two proof. Yeah. In a box. Not Dixon, though. You know what? Remember when the pandemic, when Dixon did Whiskey in a Box, he started that? I did. A, that's when I first started doing videos. He didn't capitalize on the whole, like, Dixon in a box. You yeah. Know, like, Lonely oh, That would have been stuff. awesome. Yeah. That would have been amazing. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, so, we're going to review. You said sorry like I was about to say something important and profound. Don't I got talk, nothing. Talk about Canada. So many good things out of Canada. Yeah. Andrew West. Uh, Whiskey Morgue. Whiskey Morgue. Free health care. <laughs> Maple syrup. Uh, Tim Hortons. Drake. Oof. What's wrong with Drake? Come on now. He's got some good hits. What? He does. Who wants to tell him? What? They wasn't actually in a wheelchair in Degrassi. He's texting into HBO. Oh, I'm just talking about the music. I'm just maybe that's the thing in Canada. I don't know. Ian Campbell. I'm talking like Ian Campbell's Canada. Ryan Reynolds. Wolverine. Drake kind of soured all this experience on me. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not thinking about that. Wolverine's not from. Can oh yeah, actual Wolverine is. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, Logan. I thought you were talking about because you said Hugh Ryan. Reynolds. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were talking about Hugh Jackman because you said Ryan Reynolds, and then my brain goes, "Oh, Deadpool. Oh, Hugh Jackman, Wolverine." And I thought that's what I thought you meant. My bad. Anyway, um, Brett the Hitman Hart. Oh, my favorite wrestler of all time, Chris Jericho. He was in um, Terrifier too. Yeah, it's a weird role. Scott Pilgrim. I uh, Michael Michael Sarah. I don't know if Michael Sarah. I'm saying Scott no, he Pilgrim. Is. You really? He is Canadian. Okay. So is um, uh, crap. Why can't I think of anything today? Will Arnett. Oh, nice. Yeah, Canada rules. Canada's pretty great, dude. They got part of the uh, um. Niagara Falls. Part of it? Part of it. I didn't I don't know anything about it, so. Yeah, part of it's in New York, part of it's in Canada. Oh, okay. Interesting. <sighs> Canadian rye? Yeah. Is that where Crown Royal's from too? Yes. Okay. Dave Grohl's favorite whiskey, Crown Royal. Oh yeah. Take a little more. Take a little more. <laughs> hey, I'm all about some Canada. Hey, I got nothing wrong with Canada. I uh, their whiskey is usually pretty daggum good, too, yeah. honestly. How do you open this one? I don't know. Is that all we have to say about Canada? Um, <laughs> Epcot, the uh, Canadian um, pavilion, is amazing. 
Uh, is there like a special like Canada thing you're supposed to do in this? Does whiskey open different? You got to say you're sorry. 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 I'm going to, I have to say, eh? 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 Open, eh? Open, eh? Yeah, the accent. Yeah, I love that accent. Um, Kobe Smolders. She's Canadian. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Eh? Do you need a knife? No, eh? Um, <laughs> now, you what sound, else? now you sound like the rock bottom guys from uh, SpongeBob. Oh, no, eh? Next. No, 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 no. I mean, that's a, that's a scissors. There's still blade on there. There's an actual knife in there, dude. I want to cut it with the scissors. The, the scissors on a Swiss Army knife are probably the least used thing ever. No, I I used to use it all the time, but the spring broke. Oh, uh, I was wondering. I was like, this really yeah. sucked. Oh, look at that. It was my grandfather's. I know it was. <laughs> okay. Um, what else is in Canada? Degrassi. I know I mentioned it before. Uh, what? I'm trying to it's think classic. what else is in Canada. You oh. said you said Ian, right? Yeah. Okay. Ian Campbell. I figured it out. I figured out how to open Canadian whiskey. Whistle pig? Whistle pig, yeah. They've got a lot of Canadian whiskey. Yeah. Canadian rice releases. Um <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this might be one of the worst episodes we've ever done. <laughs> no. There's been worse. That's true. Swan. Did you say swan? No. <laughs> All right, so here's the thing about this. First of all, um, how much was this bottle? I got this for $75. All right, screw cap. <laughs> and it's more. I got this at a little liquor store in Indiana, and it's more at Total Wine here in Kentucky. It's like $100. Huh, interesting. Yeah. So are we going to compare it to? I think we should. Oh, yeah, tell them about what we got. Yeah, so we have the first two rye releases from the Lawrenceburg Bourbon Company. They're both 90 rye, 10 malted barley. Cask 1 is 117.3 proof. Cask 2 is 116. Now, they have a 100% rye coming out. Yes. Um, that is Alberta Canadian rye. Yeah, so we're kind of doing this as a but I don't know if promotional... This is item for them but also yeah i don't think this is canadian okay but either way even if it is thank you to them for sending us this yes thank you greg greg we're gonna be pairing some stuff with him soon what good things can we say about lawrenceburg lawrenceburg um well lawrenceburg bourbon company specifically great people there wild turkey um wild turkey's there Four Roses. Four Roses. Heavens to Betsy. Heavens to Bakery Betsy. Bakery and Deli, or what I think, uh, one of my favorite sandwich shops in the entire world. Um, I've got family in Lawrenceburg. I don't. I had a cousin who died in Lawrenceburg. Oh. R.I.P.? Summer of 2010. It was 16. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well. Yeah. Sorry, Sam. Sam's going to be the name of my character in the scripted gotcha. show. And we're back. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it's pretty rye heavy here. Uh, uh, very rye heavy. I don't know. Like, I've been anxious to review this Alberta Premium just because it is available in a lot of places yeah. around. Um, and might as well compare it to a new rack coming out. If you're in Lawrenceburg, you can go pick it up. Yeah. They might have sold out already. I don't know. Yeah. But find I, out. I don't know. I bet they find got something else you might like. So, probably. and you could probably do a tasting. And if you're nice enough, you may be able to get a little something special. Well, something, something. Yeah. I did. Where do you want to start with this? Um, cause the Alberta is it's the highest proof. Can okay. you know the age on it? Five years. Five years old. Okay. I say we still do it last. Okay. As we go through, just because it, it is higher proof. 
I mean, significantly higher proof than the Lawrenceburg yeah. samples. Um, but yeah, it is a little bit younger, but I think that the age is going to, oh. or the proof is going to make up for the difference in age. So seven year rye from Lawrenceburg Bourbon Company, 117.3 proof is cask one. Oh, this smells so good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it smells like what you want a rye to smell like. Um, it's got a little bit of malt in the back because it is 10% malted barley. You can taste the malt in it. It is dry. The A, oh, sorry, cask one is dry, dude. It's very uh, gingerbread-y. High-proof gingerbread. Oh, it's good, though. Mmm. Whoa! That too? Yeah. Two smells different. <laughs> it tastes different, too. Two is this, like, oh. powerhouse of flavor. Two is, like... It's, like, maple peppermint pancakes. I was going a little more savory. I was thinking maple, black bacon? pepper, bacon. bacon. Exactly. I got bacon on the end. Yeah, yeah. right when you said that. Mm, cast two. That's killer, dude. Cast two is where it's at. Man. Holy cow. That's an incredible rye. Lawrenceburg's killing it, man. For real. Like, uh, wish I was... I'm not even going to be in town when this releases. You know, they put it on their Instagram. As of as of when this comes out, it would have been out this past Saturday. Yeah. Seven year, 9% rye. 90% rye, sorry. Super duper limited, they say. How many bottles? Didn't say. Does not say. Hmm. Okay. Uh, these are both great. I prefer cask two for sure. I think cask one is the token rye whiskey. Mm -hmm. Cask two. Did I just say, I saved one, right? Yep. Cask two is the special rye whiskey. It's the special pour. Um, oh my God. So good. (sighs) Further proof that. Lawrenceburg Bourbon Company is just Lawrenceburg's on the map. Putting man. out great stuff, mm-hmm. man. I, I mean, really, really great bottles. Um they know what's up and they're absolutely killing it. Yep. Um eventually I will own a bottle <laughs> of one of their products. Well, but I mean the last release they sold out of everything. Yeah. Very quickly too. Yeah. And I mean, there's no way that these aren't gonna sell out. No, these have to. Either. But comparatively. All right. Let's go to Alberta. Alberta Premium <laughs> Cast Strength Rye. You got your passport? Uh, I thought you were sneaking me across. Oh, yeah. Sorry. You just have to say I'm barbecue sauce. Or olive oil. Yeah. I've went with barbecue sauce. It's been... I've been successful. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah. I just like to print all my labels at home. <laughs> no, you can't do that. With international shipping? No, you got to go in and you got to like sign stuff. Oh, I've never... I've not done international yet. Yeah. Oh, not indifferent from these two, I would say. They're definitely on the in the same family. Okay, but they don't have the the spice. No, this is the like, mintiness up front that the Lawrenceburg rise do. The Alberta reminds me of a almost like a low ra ra C- comparatively, yeah. Based on the nose, the Alberta is dangerous. Yeah. You would not know that you're getting ready to hit. Dude, I I think that Canadian rye in general is extremely dangerous. I mean, in my limited experience with uh, a hazmat Canadian rye. True. It gets you feeling some certain, some particular way. Yeah. Last time at the weekend. Oh, man, we took some chugs of that. That was a good time.
Oh, that's candy. How is that that proof? Oh, it's dry. Oh, it's so dry. My mouth started salivating just so it could combat some of the <laughs> the dryness. It tastes. It tastes higher. That's what I'm saying. It tastes higher than 132. Proof. Yeah. Oh my. I want more. Hmm. Oh, it's so much candy. I don't get any gingerbread. I don't get any like holiday. I get candy like red hots. Yeah. Red hot candy. Spicy candy. You know, it's the it's the candy in the, the gas station that you never buy. You know what I mean? Like you've had it before because your grandparents had it around and you know they always have those like yeah. hard candies that are wrapped up individually. You're like, maybe I'll try one of these just to know what it is. And because you know, you're a kid and you just love candy. And you try it and you're like, I don't mind this, but I could probably go the rest of my life without eating it again. That's kind of how I feel about this. I like it, but I'm not just blown away by it. The curiosity in me wants to have more. Only because yes. it's this weird hot candy. No, it is very strange. It's very bizarre. But this might be the first thing that you and I have had on the podcast together where we're kind of split on how good or bad we think this is. Uh, I, Maybe. I think we've had some stuff that we were like opposite. Yeah. On. It's interesting, man. Maybe I'm just in like a bourbon headspace today. Maybe. Like I wasn't extremely, I wasn't exactly as ready for... Uh, I I think that's that's how I like this. That's how I am though. I'm like, give me the weird stuff out of yeah. nowhere, and it's weird, but I like it. <clears throat> it's so like it's not my favorite spicy and like candy and off putting. It's a ginger spice though. I don't get ginger. I get red hot. I get this red. I mean, candy. I do get cinnamon, but I, I think there is a ginger aspect of this that is present. I don't know, man. This is dangerous for me. Yeah. Uh, here's the, the thing: the here's weird the... mutinous in me is like it's popping off right now. Yeah. Like, I mean, MSRP being a hundred dollars for a five-year-old. I don't know if that's the MSRP. I only paid 75 for it. Let's see. Let's go to the Googs again. $79.99. Hmm. I mean, not as bad as $100, but... Oh. <sighs> that's still a lot for... It's a spicy peanut butter and jelly sandwich. If you did a pour over crunchy peanut butter, if you did a pour over of yeah. a crunchy peanut butter and jelly sandwich, this is what that would be. Yeah, because it's still got like actual peanut. Yeah, yeah to yeah, it, yeah. not yeah. like the processed peanut butter. It, yeah, it's peanutty, it's nutty, but like peanut buttery, but not like Jif. Yeah, yeah, we're probably split on this. I think we are. Okay, we're, that's crazy. We're all for. The Lawrence Burger. Oh, yeah, for sure. Those two are absolute hitters. I like this one, but I am not infatuated with, nor do I love it. I like this one, and it makes me want to go back for more. And it makes me want to try other years. Like, I think they do different, like, batches and stuff. You know, no, look, my curiosity is definitely peaked. I want to try more editions of it. Maybe in the, like, the effort to find one that I like. Right, because more. it's just enough for you to be like, I want to try, I want to find yeah. one I like. Yeah. But this particular bottle, 
This is this is it's weird. Right up your alley. It's right up my alley, and I know your palate, and it's it's way off on that. Yeah. Let's Oof. do it. All right. Well, nose palate finish and price. That's our rating system here on the podcast. Each category is out of five. Final score out of twenty. Um, I'll take a little bit more. Just yeah, you will. <laughs> you know what? That's actually a pretty good sign that I'm not like. <laughs> I know. If you say, give me a little bit more, you're still on the fence. I'm on the fence. You're curious. But but leaning towards, I think I like this. I know I like it, but I don't think I love it. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I just got this like note of pepper jelly. Yes. You know the Hawaiian pepper jelly that yes. Don? That's what this is. It's the sweets, hot. Stuff that is exactly what this is. This is yeah. Hawaiian pepper jelly. This is Hawaiian pepper jelly in Canada. We're just all the nations in Epcot. In Epcot, oh my god, <laughs> I'll be there because there's a confectionery. <laughs> um, the month of April, yeah, yeah. So, there is, there is like a confectionery, like, yeah. You, it's like a theme park uh, smell, taste, and then you get that spicy, peppery, like red jelly or something. Oof. Get okay. situated. I am. I'm ready. You ready? All right. I'm going to let you go first on this one, though. On the nose? On the nose. The nose, to me, is probably the weakest point. I give it a three. It's kind of like, it's there... It's kind of weird. It's a rye. Oh, give me some more. I give it a three. I'm gonna give it a two. Yeah, it's it's it is the weakest point. Yeah, I think. I think I think everything about this ramps up as on the way go. through it as you go. Uh huh. Um, because and and I'll I'll just go ahead and say it because I have it in my head already. Go ahead. Nose is a two. It is definitely the lightest part, the weakest part of this. Palette is a three. Okay. I think it. I I agree with you. I think it's interesting. I but it's just not exactly in my wheelhouse. That doesn't mean it's your bad. Ball, your ball. House. My ball house. Excuse yeah. me. That doesn't mean it's bad. It's just like I would really have to be in the mood. Yeah. No, I get that. To drink this, but yeah. objectively, um. I th- I think that it's just a little wonky. It's a little kind of off putting. I couldn't. I would have a hard time kind of recommending this to somebody who knows me as a bourbon drinker. Okay, you know, yeah, and they're looking for something new to to try. Maybe this is the thing for them to try. What if they're um, having a tasting with the whiskey mutant? Oh, for sure they should <laughs> include this. Um, hint hint. Get some fin- too. This is the week. <laughs> finish is the strongest point for oh, me. I love the finish. Um, I actually gave the finish a four. Yeah, I, I. That's where things really start to kind of pop and show themselves as as being interesting and developed, and that is the portion of this whiskey that makes me want to go back and try it again. Yeah, or or drink more. Eighty dollars for a five-year-old. I mean, the proof is kind of like offsetting some of That's the playing a big part some of the that. age you know for me. Um, Two point five. Okay, I don't, I don't hate that. Yeah. Um, There's I, other things I would rather spend my money on. Yeah, of course, but I don't think that this is totally unwarranted. I just think that. If it were older, <laughs> I would probably. Can you imagine this at like twelve years old? I would. I'm so interested. You know what? That probably exists. That is definitely probably a thing. Canada, people. definitely, probably. Listen Whiskey to me, morgue, my idiot. Um, find it for me. Also, want... for the for the record, I said I'm an idiot. I just wanted to make sure that nobody heard you say no. Whiskey Morgan. Then I said idiot no. right after. You would never do that. He would send a serial I absolutely killer would not. to get you. Oh. I love, I love whiskey. 
No, if you said that, if you're like straight up like trash, yeah, he would that's have, why everybody loves Wesley Moore because there would be a they're hit, afraid man. of him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, but there, there is definitely an expression of this that is out there that is, you know, cast strength yeah. and closer to I 10 aged years. Alberta premium. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. And we, Andrew West, Ian Campbell, Whiskey Morg Mike. I'm going to find us some. I'm going to, that's my goal. You do your thing. You get the the uh, Bourbon Pursuit episode ready. I'm going to find us a higher age okay. Alberta premium. Okay. Um, yeah. So I gave the nose a three, but I think this just go for me. It just goes up and up and up and the price dips a little bit. So three on the nose, four on the palate, 4.5 on the finish, because when it hits the finish, I'm like, okay, the, all the weirdness is like setting in. I want some more. Um, and then, like you said, this is a five, what do we say? Five years old. Yeah. If this was $65, I would keep this on my shelf all day. Yeah. I wouldn't have a problem with it. So I give this a three. Um, so it's 11.5. Um, if this was $65, I would probably have this 13. How did we both come up with an 11.5? Did we? That's the exact score I gave it. How did I do it wrong? Two, three wait, on the nose. Three. You definitely have a higher score than I do. Four on the palate. What I say? The finish. Four, four point five plus four point. Oh wait, yeah, I didn't add one in. <laughs> plus uh, three. three on the price. Fourteen point five. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say that sounds more right. Okay, there you go. Fourteen point yeah. five. If this thing was, if this thing was like sixty five bucks, fuck, I'd be buying three bottles right now. This probably shows my hand a little bit too much. Or it shows, I don't know. Um, what is this? That's all three of them together. Okay. <laughs> What's that? What are those? I didn't. I didn't see you mix them. Um, freaking. Now here's yeah, okay. Here. Here's a pairing I would do with this. With just this? With just that. Okay. Are you, I, you're not ready for what I'm about to spit. Okay. Okay. Look at him. He did the... He's dusting his shoulders off like Jay-Z over here. Grilled lamb chop with mint jelly. Oh, my. I, I've never even had that. Oh, dude. Never had that before. We My my family does that every year for, the new, for the new year. Well, I'm... Co- Coming over to your house for New Year next Okay. Time. I'm telling you, that would go perfectly with it. I will be on day shift then. So. Oh, yes. Oh, my God, the blend. Oh, that's spectacular. <laughs> Greg. <laughs> Greg. We want to talk to you. <laughs> I need to talk to you. Oh. We got, that smells like a Kentucky Owl Rye. <laughs> Does it not? Yeah, that smells like a uh, uh, Kentucky. Uh, it's a um, Derby pie. Mm hmm. Mm. Whoa. <laughs> Is that what Dixon used? No, because it says Kentucky straight rye whiskey. Yeah, uh, I mean, uh-huh. yeah, I think so. Yeah, he has Kentucky on his. Yeah. Um, whoa, that's good. That's awesome. <laughs> I think uh, I think old Greg knows how to pick some um, oh, Greg. <laughs> rye. Oh, Greg. I think we made that joke last time we talked did about we? Lawrence. I'm pretty sure we did. Okay. Because I remember specifically hearing the word mangina. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Greg definitely drinks Bailey's from a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm going to uh, save that for the rest of the That's show. good. Oh, yeah. yeah. For sure. Uh, high proof hot takes? Uh Kentucky weather sucks. We went through every season the last couple of days. Yeah. Uh, and then people who think the <laughs> halftime show should just be nonstop 50 million people every Shut every... up. Shut up. If you have if you had a problem with this year's <laughs> halftime show. Oh, dang it, we keep saying it. Dang it. We did twice in a row. You have to bleep it out. That coming. The big ball soup. <laughs> The, big bowl of soup. The big halftime bowl of soup, show. Halftime show. 
Rihanna did Rihanna. Like, she freaking, like... She nailed it, dude. She killed it. She played all the hits. She looked great as a pregnant mom. Listen, hot. this is not a hot take for me. Moms, hottest thing you can do. Hottest thing you can do. Looking great. Singing all the hits. And, and pregnant, she, pregnant women are beautiful. Heck, yeah, they are. They're just... Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, listen... Y'all don't even know to be a pregnant woman. I, I'm sorry if you haven't. <laughs> Y'all don't even know. Um, I've done it three times. Um, but she, all all the best songs. I've loved her since she came out. Uh, so many good songs. The freaking like, when the camera angles would shift to like the, the stages moving up and down and stuff, it looks spectacular. And she did Rihanna. Like, Rihanna like, yeah. does her thing without with without looking like she cares. You know what I mean? Like, like she has like I don't have to act like Beyonce. I don't have to be like moving around doing stuff to know that I'm in the zone. Yeah, like she did her thing, and I don't want fifty thousand guest singers every year. Yeah, it's fun. Last year's was great, but I don't want that every time. No, I don't like, either. She killed it by herself. And it was amazing. And stop complaining about it. That's my hot take. And it was, you know, you know what I think. Okay, this is getting into a lot Let's of different go. things. People complain when it's old music. People complain when it's new music. People complain when there's too much skin being shown. People complain when there's not enough skin being shown. Mm -hmm. But you know what I think the core of the problem is. With these people who have such strong opinions on the Super Bowl halftime show. Boomers. They don't want to see people of color. Probably. Yeah. I think that is a big part of it. Yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm not trying to be political about anything, but I, I think that there is not an insignificant portion of the people who are watching the <laughs> halftime show. Dang it, I said it again. Um, <laughs> you got a lot of editing to do. I really do. This yeah. is not going to be good. Um, or maybe it's going to be the best episode ever. Could Who's be. to say? I think so. Um, but the who have strong opinions politi politically, conservatively, whatever. You know? Yeah. I'm not saying that's wrong. I'm just saying that's... It, it's, it's not in uncommon point of view for somebody who is yeah. going to be partaking in viewing of that. Here's the thing though. I don't know where we skew anymore with listenership on the podcast in terms of like um, demographics. You know, I know our like core group of folks that we always talk to and hang out with and whatnot, but I I I think that in general we all kind of share this viewpoint of we're all just trying to do our best and yeah. we're all here to support each other and it's okay to have different viewpoints because that's what makes us stronger yeah. in the end you know unity through diversity yeah I mean but yeah it would be so boring and like it wouldn't be fun if everybody was just the same like yeah. we were all just the same like. I don't want that. And no, and and like I'm I'm sorry. I think I probably came on way too strong by telling people to shut up. I don't think you're wrong. I no, think that there is just a common. Yeah, like, I think it's just a, you told me to do that. That's true. That's just the thing. Yeah, there. But there, I think that there is a wider conversation to be had about it. This is not necessarily the place for that conversation no. to be to be had. Um, but <laughs> I don't know. If you were bored with it, okay. If not, like. I mean, and, and like, I even, I enjoyed it. I thought she sounded amazing. She sounded I amazing. thought that the, the overall presentation, the performance was really, really enjoyable. Super, Super Smash Bros. So. <laughs> that yeah. was going to bring, did you see the edit where yeah, somebody, Donkey yeah, Kong, yeah, you're yeah, like yeah. Rihanna. Has, um, you know, but I mean, like, I can understand being bored with it. Yeah. I, I, I could, I could understand why you would watch that and feel like you weren't being entertained in the way that you kind of had anticipated right. to be. Here's the thing though. She's pregnant. 
and get, not everybody cut her some slack, and not everybody <laughs> cares about that. Yeah, exactly. Some people. I, it doesn't I, have I, to be big and flashy, and it doesn't have to be the weekend I, with. I wasn't waiting on know. somebody else to come out. I was waiting on that next Rihanna song yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? And some people, that's what they expect in the Super Bowl. They want to be like, all right, five minutes is up. What's the surprise guest or whatever? This time, she just slayed it. She, she slayed killed it. it. With, in every song, I mean, she freaking shine bright like a diamond. You know, you know what was I awesome, mean, too, is that whatever production team she has behind her, whatever, you know, the, the, the actual, like, music producers, mm-hmm. they were doing stuff that, was just like allusions to other songs of hers oh, that yeah. she didn't Everything sing. Everything that just went like flowed into the next song and stuff. Like it was the, just like and the and the the one that stood out to me that that I noticed the most. I'm not like a huge Rihanna fan or anything. I respect the crap out of her because I think she's all of the lights. <sighs> yeah, Kanye's on that song. No, she sang that most of the song. Yeah, kind of on that song. It doesn't matter. I know it's a great song, actually. It really um, is. I wish he wouldn't have been crazy because that's yeah. a really good song. Um, but the one that I really noticed, I hadn't heard it in years. Um, but there was a segue in between two songs where Cake started playing. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I had a moment of awakening mm-hmm. when I heard that song for the first mm-hmm. time. Yep. Exactly. That was a good. It was a good halftime show. Yeah, it was. Um, and, and you can but, like whatever you like. Yeah, and yeah, if you yeah, don't, yeah. Like whatever. It, high proof hot takes has also turned into like us kind of apologizing for opinions it's that our we have. High proof hot takes. Yeah, it it's not everybody's. Yeah. And that means you can like what you like, and you don't like what you don't like, and whatever. But I always, I always work in an effort to, and it's, it's part of just who I am as a person, but also because I want to make sure that in some ways, this is still a safe space for people to come and yeah. listen to, to whiskey conversations and be nerdy and, and just enjoy, you know, getting away from things. We, the most political we ever get is when we're talking about, you know, legislation or we're talking about, or like, you know, respecting other people, yeah. which I think even in itself is not supposed to be Blast political. The people on the internet. But I mean, but I know, think that there is still too much for a bottle. <laughs> but I think that it, people can still view it as like, oh, well, they're trying to support or stand up for even though they're white minorities or women yeah. or or whatever. Um, so then they're woke. That's not the case. No. We don't have this agenda. We don't have this this mindset when we come into the podcast of we have to we have to do it. No, it's more important for me that this is a place where you can come yeah. and just be you can just enjoy. You can say you it's didn't just, like it. That's fine. Yeah, but, I don't I don't care. But there's like, nothing wrong in, with in me the grand scheme of it. I don't care. And saying like this is why I liked it. And then yeah. we like, you know what? We didn't we agree to disagree. Yeah. Exactly. So that's how I kind of yeah. feel about it all i thought it was a great halftime show i, <laughs> I thought like a diamond baby the the music production of it all was incredible um she's just a wonderful performer mm-hmm. um i forgot about something too i meant to i meant to bring this up at the top of the podcast and this <laughs> i was really kind of blown away by this this is may i can probably spin this into a, a hot take or um but so I got a I got a message last night from Dan Like. Nice. Okay. Dan and Julie are in <clears throat> Louisville right. this weekend. Because we were in a we were in an Uber and started talking with the the driver about whiskey. Yeah. Driver goes. Well, I really got into whiskey a couple years ago because I was driving this this guy and his wife and I think his sister to this like bourbon women talk or something and he gave me his card and like that's what got me into bourbon and listening to podcasts mm-hmm. about it and everything. And that was the weekend that we did the bourbon women or the women of bourbon yeah. live show. Yeah. So this guy, four years later, and I'm sorry, he's listening. I I don't know what your name is. I'm so so sorry. Um, 
has not only like kept up with the show, but like really got into whiskey because I just happened to use him as an Uber. Yeah. That's crazy to me. Shout out to still being an Uber driver. Yeah. Too. Like, I I think the, the like hot take or tips and bits. I was gonna say, whatever. what's the hot take on this? Um it's just don't don't be afraid to be yourself and like talk to people okay. about the things that you you love because um you know I we're we're not twenty four seven hundred percent of the time bourbon people, but when it comes up in conversation, I mean like that's something that we are passionate about and we don't want to avoid talking about it if people have questions yeah. or anything. And so it was just like the perfect storm of I had all this energy for that weekend and we were doing something different. And we were doing something new and the podcast was really hitting its stride too uh, in the it, kind of its early days. And then I just happened to talk with somebody who was like, oh, I'm kind of into it, but here are these things. And like the more that I talk about it, the more I have like little bits of memory that kind of yeah. come back to me as well. Um, but just just the fact that there there was this specific thing that was happening around that experience around having that conversation um that's awesome it it helps build community it helps people feel like they have a sense of i guess unity yeah <laughs> no that's perfect that they're they're not on their own that they you know have other people they can kind of turn to and um be a part of something they enjoy. Yeah. So, um, first of all, Dan, thanks for sharing that story yeah. with the me. Awesome. But, um, also just, you know what else the likes, like, have you ever noticed in their like live streams, they got like Dragon Ball Z figures hanging in the background. Do on they? The shelves? Yeah. I've never noticed. I'm pretty that. sure Dan is a super Saiyan. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. I, every time I get to tune in, I'll like check out some stuff or whatever. Uh, they got like some little Goku figures and stuff hanging in the background. It's pretty cool. It's awesome. Yeah. Um, tips and bits. Yeah, tips and bits. What do you have to recommend this week? Dude? Uh, I have stuff to n- not recommend. Oh, yeah. Th- sometimes those are just as much fun yeah. as things to I recommend. Watch a movie on Netflix called Me Time. That yeah. <laughs> um, sounds rough. No, but like the thing is, it shouldn't have been. It was Kevin Hart. Okay. Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. Um, you don't like Mark Wahlberg? I don't like Mark Wahlberg. Okay. I don't. I don't mind Mark Wahlberg. And it had a semi character of my favorite comedian, Andrew Santino, who mm. stole the show from the two main stars. Awesome. But this is a movie on Netflix about Kevin Hart being a stay-at-home dad who's like the PTA dad. His wife is the breadwinner. Mark Wahlberg is is his like lifelong friend who's like the party guy and he's always trying to like come back and party with me and so Kevin Hart comes out of like party retirement to like join his like 40th birthday party or something like that and like they just they try to do all this stuff that's like funny and it's just not that funny but every time Andrew Santino does something in the movie I cracked up and he only has like I love the guy he only has like 10 minutes total in it um, so I wouldn't recommend me time. <laughs> if I, uh, another, he's, a, he's in uh, Australia right now. Yeah. He's filming he's a movie. Filming another movie. Yeah. yeah. Um, another thing is don't get, don't get aggravated at iPhone game, um, commercials like on Facebook and stuff like so what they do is they show this fun game and they show somebody losing at it over and over. And you're like, you know what? Mother- I could beat this game so so fast. Well, I got caught in that because this game looked fun. <laughs> um, it's a game. I don't even know the name of it because it tricked me. It was this game where like these bees are flying around and you're trying to save this little dog and you have to draw the circle around it. <laughs> and I said, I can save that dog every time. <laughs> well, you saved a bunch of cats earlier. So yeah. I save cats. I can save dogs. But I got into it, and it's this whole other game where it's like you play you play this like RPG game where you got to buy these crystals and buy this stuff, and then if you get to that Ugh. point, you get to play the dog game. 
And I said, where's the dog game? They may... I don't recommend this. Bees, stinging dogs, save the dogs. I don't recommend this game if you see it on in, on social media. Because I barely got to do that, and I had to keep playing this RPG game where it's like, buy some more crystals, buy some more of this, and then you get to play the dog game. I hated this. Sounds stupid. Piss me off. Hold on. You still have a Mighty downloaded? party. It sounds gross. Look, it even has a little crying dog on the thing, but that's not what the game. I don't recommend Mighty Party. You just downloaded the Papa John's app? No, it's on. That's deloaded. See, I still have to. Oh, okay. It's one of the apps that goes off when you've not used it. SM25. Well, we'll see if it still works. It 100% does. Still? Yeah. Nice. Well, it's a, it was a, like, that code never expired because oh. it was for people. It, yeah, SM25. Yeah. You get 25% off your uh, regular, Do it. regular menu price order, I think is what it is. Um, freaking love Papa John's. I gotta try their new uh, Parmesan crust. Oh God, I think I might get pizza, pizza too. In that. Actually, it sounds really good. Yeah. yeah. You guys just want to come over? <laughs> I'm gonna be gone. I got. Oh yeah, you're gonna be gone. I get someone. I get to the hotel. Yep. We got volleyball this weekend. Volleyball, Dad. Yay. Um, we are in the middle of. Well, we've got about a season left. Um. It's a BBC show called Motherland. It's a comedy uh, about parents just trying to do their best. Mm. Uh, very stressful. I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> uh, it's very stressful. It's very stress oriented. Just trying to uh, navigate being a parent and finding childcare is a <laughs> big part of it as well. That's why I haven't been on day shift now. Yeah. Freaking. Child care. But now you got... Now I got kids that can get themselves off the bus. Exactly. My body's going to explode. I'm going to go to day shift. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to find another new co-host. <laughs> yeah. No, nope, you're not. You're going to sweep me up and you're going to put me on the desk. Oh, I'm going to put you in that... The You know in um the Adam West Batman movie? Mm -hmm. In the end, they sweep up all the members of the United Nations or whatever that have been dehydrated. Yeah. I'm going to put you in the, the rehydrator. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, Marie's pissed at something. She mad. Got a package coming? I don't know. Maybe I do. I never know anymore. Um. Anyway, Motherland is really, really good. Okay. It's very funny. Um. There, it it's awkward too. It's got that like uncomfortable humor aspect to some of it. So there you go. It's good. That's all I got this week. Um. Oh, Metroid Prime. Oh, uh, remastered. Sheamus. It's Samus. No, I was talking about wrestling. Oh, WWE. sorry. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> good save. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's really great, man. Um, I've I've just been so like locked into finishing it, and um, I haven't one hundred percented a game in a really long time, but I'm. I'm like dedicated to finding everything nice in this one. So for better or worse, and for my sanity's sake, <laughs> might be a long rest of the week. I've already put in like 15 hours into the Dang. game. So 15 hours into yeah. a Metroid game? Yeah. Is that a po is that possible now? Apparently. I haven't played Metroid in so long. Well, I I realized as I was playing through this one that I don't think I ever completed it when I first played it. Hmm. I think that I played Metroid Prime 2 and 3 more than I did the first one, gotcha. which is insane. Yeah. Um but a lot of this is a new experience for me. So and it's it's different from old Metroid games too, where or, or you know two D Metroid games where it's all very linear and you're you know you kind of know the path to get to a particular place and you're not sitting there constantly going oh I gotta make sure I go through this tunnel to get to this elevator and you know like the Metroid Prime games are so much more detailed yeah than the the two D games gotcha um, so yeah that's that's where i'm at right now with it nice um but it looks incredible um it you know that thing where like 
you see you watch something as an adult that has been remastered yeah or it's it's been edited to hd or whatever and you're like oh this is exactly how i remember it from when i was yeah. a kid that's how i feel yeah but like going back and watching footage of it from when you're it like, was first on the on the gamecube it's rough yeah. <laughs> i mean that they, they is not the same game yeah at all um but it's it's incredible it's so much fun um i'm i'm excited to finish it up here soon as well but you know what else is exciting and fun. And fun. And we'll finish you up. And we'll finish you up over on patreon.com slash my bourbon podcast for as little as a dollar a month. We can finish you up. Um, but also at five dollars, you get all the bonus episodes. You get porch from the floor, you get mutant madness, you get simply irresistible, and you get this show uncut a day early. What else could you ask for? And you had the first chance to get the um, tickets to all the live show stuff, but now everybody can. But please support us over on patreon.com slash my bourbon podcast. And we you have can, a new Patreon. We do. We? You could be just like Eric Greenway who joined Ooh. the Patreon this week. Eric Greenway. Yeah, day after Valentine's Day I is when he joined. Eric Greenway. Yeah. He's dressed like uh like Derek Zoolander. Eric Greenway actually has a full blown <laughs> wild turkey bottle suit. I oh, really? Him. No, seriously. Wow. At Whiskey Weekend, I met him. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Eric Greenway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know Eric Greenway. Yeah, but one time he was passing through Kentucky. Yeah. Yeah. And he was like, you know what? I'm going to Sonny's barbecue. And I go, hold up, bro. We got a lot better Sonny's barbecue barbecue places around here than that but he said i don't have time i'm passing through and i said you know what i'm gonna bring my own pig and i'm gonna smoke it right at sunny's barbecue so we smoked barbecue at sunny's barbecue and it wasn't sunny's barbecue and we got kicked out but Mm. he got to stay because i was the one that uh you brought the pig i brought it I let him eat. I ate the pig. Came back. And he's like, you know what, man? I need to join the Patreon. I was like, dude, you need to. Like, you'll get to hear like bonus stuff and all that. Um, but he says, no, I just want to give you a dollar. I was like, okay, well, give it to the show. He's like, okay. And I said, I'll give you some smoke. I was like, okay. So I'll shout you out. Um, and I did right now. Freaking smoked some pigs at Sonny's Barbecue made our own barbecue how many people go into another person's barbecue and make their own barbecue um it sounds like two at the at the bare minimum two eric's do make a right there you go. that's what happened and he found his way back home the green way and there we are he's on the patreon i love him i love you too eric yeah, love you too. What else do we have to talk? Me and him. <laughs> this is going to get confusing, Eric. What, Eric? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to get a T-shirt. I'll go over to bourbonshop.threadless.com and get a T-shirt. There we go. Um, it's going to say I'm Eric. Yeah, it's going to say I'm Eric. Tim Bip. There you go. That's your next. Uh, your next go. design. Yeah. But yeah, go over there. Get some merch. Um, if you want to call in and leave a voicemail and be on the podcast. 859-428-8253. Leave a voicemail. I did that without looking. Um, props to me. I'm proud of uh, you. Yeah. Uh, leave a voicemail. We'll You're play going it. off script. I know. <laughs> we'll play it and we'll talk back to you. Not in real time, but you'll be on the podcast. Uh, if you want to go to social media, uh, we got a Facebook group. This is my Bourbon Podcast Facebook group. E- I was going to say eat some questions, but you answer some questions. You can eat some questions too. Answer some questions. We'll put you in there. Um, we do show updates. That's going to be probably the first place we post the uh, tickets to the general public for the live show. Um, you can follow the show at My Bourbon Pod. You can follow Perry at P Ritter seventeen ninety two on all social media, and you can follow me at Whiskey Mutant. Uh, got a new reel out. Uh, got some new pairings coming out. Um, I'm just vibing over here. You are. Are you li- did you like make something play in your ear that's no, not playing in my ear? Nothing. Okay. He's just vibing just to vibing. himself. Just having a good day, man. He does that every Tuesday after I leave, apparently. 
Um, Tuesday. Bob to itself. Okay. I don't know. I don't leave. I'm not going to tell you the day I'm here. I'm trying to mess them up a little bit. Okay. Um, but he vibes to himself every Tuesday. Uh, He's having a good time. Yeah. He's having a great time. If you want to leave a Tuesday. Re- <laughs> Two, two days are Tuesdays are for the boys. <laughs> Tuesdays are for the boys. Um, if you want to leave a review, leave it on uh, Apple Podcast app. You can leave a um, rating Ooh. on Spotify. Everything helps. Um, go over to YouTube. Uh, this is my bourbon podcast on YouTube. Perry goes live every Thursday at eight. Uh, this show is on uh, every Wednesday as well when the podcast comes out. You talking about the video version? Video version. Yeah, you can see us on YouTube. Yeah. A lot of stuff happening on uh, the camera that you don't see or hear. I don't know how you would hear it on the podcast, but you don't, you know, you got to see it there. Do you want to see my impression of a six year old drinking water? Sure. Oh my God, the double fist. That, that's so bad. You got to let some dribble down your chin a little bit. That's it. And Perry's officially a tea baller drinking water after he just ate his apple slices. Um, you know what? Just tell people about us. I don't know if you should watch that or not. He may have to bleep that out. Um, this is my bourbon podcast. Listen, like, subscribe, I I, I I share. Cut my nose on the... <laughs> do all the stuff. You know what to do. We've also got a new five star review. A new five star review. Yeah, it's from Empty underscore Suit. Empty Suit. It says great long form whiskey reviews. Okay. Started listening to these guys searching for a review of Parker's Heritage Collection 16. Oh, my number one whiskey of yeah. 20, 22, 2022. Almost said 2016. Thank you. I appreciate you. What I found was great. Uh, what I found was great review of the Parker's Heritage specifically, but a couple of great conversationalists on the subject of whiskey. Change nothing. You both are great. I'm done. I ain't changing nothing. When I come back next week, I'm still the same. I really thought I cut my nose on that. Well, it doesn't matter. Don't change a thing. Cut it again, because that's what they want. That's what they get. We're Timbit. I'm Eric the Whiskey Mutant. This is Perry. Say bye. Bye. See you next week.